So in this example, we're looking at having, we've already observed n observations or n samples from a Poisson distribution. We've been using a conjugate prior, which is a gamma prior for the rate mu. So here's our gamma prior. We would like the predictive density. In a previous piece of work, we have already found out that the posterior distribution g of mu given our data y1 to yn is v plus n where n is our number r plus the sum of y mu to the r plus the sum of y minus 1 e to the minus n plus v mu over gamma function of r plus the sum of yi. So we have part of our distribution to calculate f of y n plus 1, so the next observation given our previous observations. We integrate over the relevant range which here is from 0 to infinity of f of y n plus 1 given mu times g of mu given our previous data n d mu. So by doing this we separate into two components. This bit here is a Poisson distribution so we break it into the two relevant bits, so it's the integral from 0 to infinity of, and we think about it in terms of our Poisson data, so we have e to the minus mu, mu to the y of the n plus 1 observation, and we have y n plus 1 factorial, so that's this part of our function, and then we include this part of our function times v plus n to the r plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of y i, mu to the r plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of y i minus 1, e to the minus n plus v mu over the gamma function of r plus the sum from i equals 1 to n y i d mu. We take everything that doesn't depend on mu outside of our integral because it's just a constant. So we say it's this part here doesn't depend on mu. So v plus n to the power of r plus the sum of y i, i equals 1 up to n, y n plus 1 factorial, and then this bit here doesn't also doesn't depend on mu, so the gamma function of r plus the sum of y i, i equals 1 up to n, and then we have the integral from 0 up to infinity, of everything that depends on n or, or on mu and we group them together so let's group them together first in terms of mu to the power of and we have here r plus the sum from i equals 1 to n y i plus y n plus 1 minus 1 so that takes care of this term and this term now we have this term and this term, so we have e to the minus n plus v plus 1 mu d mu. And we note that this is the exact same functional form as a gamma function up here, or a gamma function up here. If we go back up here and we say we note that the integral from 0 to infinity of v to the or mu to the 
or minus 1 e to the minus v mu over the gamma function of r is equal to 1 because it is a probability distribution we would note then that v or the integral over mu to the r minus 1 e to the minus v times mu is equal to the gamma function of r divided by v to the power of r. We use the same principle down here to calculate this integral without doing any really horrible integration. So we say it's v plus n to the power of r plus the sum over i from y to 1 to n of yi, yn plus 1 factorial, the gamma function of r plus the sum of yi and then we have mu to something minus 1 e to minus something to, to the times mu d mu it's the same functional form so we use the uh, what we've learned from previously and it's the gamma function of r plus the sum i equals 1 to n y i plus y n plus 1 and we keep we be quite careful here and we divide that by what our equivalent of v was this time which is n plus v plus 1 to the power of r plus the sum of y i plus y n plus 1 and that's your integration done out. Now, by grouping this cleverly, and if we constrain uh, r to be an integer for simplicity, so if we look at the special case, well, first of all, we'll do the grouping. So we'll say this is v plus n over n plus v plus 1 to the power of r plus the sum of yi. Then we have one more of these, we have this bit left over, so 1 over n plus v plus 1 to the power of y n plus 1. And then we have the gamma function of r plus the sum of y i plus y n plus 1 over y n plus 1 factorial, the gamma function of r plus the sum of y i. Now, if we constrain to the special case of if or is a specifically non-negative integer, Then what we have, we note that um, a factorial equals the gamma function of a plus 1, by definition for a an integer uh, and greater than 0. So what we have here is the gamma function of r plus the sum y i plus one, n plus 1, this is i equal 1 to n, is equal to, uh, divided by y n plus 1 factorial, gamma function of r plus the sum y i, well, that's equal to, we think about this one as bit is equal to r plus the sum of yi plus n plus 1 minus 1 factorial over yn plus 1 factorial and r plus the sum y i minus 1 factorial 
and this is equal to n plus the sum of yi plus yn plus 1 minus 1 choose yn plus 1 so in the case where r is an integer we have the resulting f n plus 1 given our data y up to n is equal to r plus the sum of y i plus y n plus 1 minus 1 choose y n plus 1 1 over n plus v plus 1 to the power of y n plus 1 times v plus n over n plus v plus 1 to the power of one plus this y i and this when because or is an integer is a negative binomial so we say that y n plus 1 is negative binomial and we have r plus the sum of y i 1 over plus n plus 1 so you can see that it, the uh, posterior predictive distribution uh, simplifies down to a negative binomial in the case where your r is specified in your prior was a integer